New EC37B gets a designation change to EA37B. Welcome to my YouTube channel and I am iBoot if you want more videos subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell bell. Air Combat Command has redesignated the EC-37B electronic attack aircraft the EA-37B effective immediately the command announced last week. When the last EC-130 retires the EA-37B will be the sole type to carry the name Compass Call. The new designation better identifies the platform's mission of finding attacking and destroying enemy land or sea targets an ACC release stated as the aircraft will be primarily an electronic warfare or electronic attack system. The only other EA designation now flying is the Navy's electronic attack EA-18G Growler tactical jamming aircraft. The C designation was vestigial from the EC-130H and generally connotes an aircraft with a cargo mission. The first of 10 EA-37Bs, Heavily modified versions of the Gulfstream G550 airframe was delivered to Air Force Materiel Command from Bay Systems and L3 Harris for testing in September. After testing, the aircraft will go to the 55th Electronic Combat Group at Davis Monthan Air Force Base Ares for operational service sometime in 2024. ACC has divested nine of its 14 EC 130H Compass Call aircraft. And when the last leaves the active inventory in 2026 the EA-37B will be the sole aircraft to use that name. The older aircraft are going into flyable storage at the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group at Davis Monthan, also known as the Boneyard. Flyable storage means the EC-130S cannot be harvested for parts and could conceivably be returned to duty. Such designation usually means the aircraft are being held in reserve against the need to recall them in wartime. The EA-37B sustains joint force military advantage in electromagnetic battle space and builds a more lethal force by modernizing electromagnetic attack capabilities to deny peer competitors tactical networks and information ecosystems ACC said in a release. Thanks for watching like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel.